In this final video in the diabetes series, we'll learn about two life-threatening emergency situations that can occur if diabetes is not properly managed. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. Welcome to Bite Size Medicine, your go-to channel for short, easy to understand videos about the common medical topics that matter to you. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, get involved in the comments, and check out the description below for links and resources. Let's get started. We've learned a lot about diabetes over the past four videos, ranging from the causes to the treatment options. In the first video, some serious consequences were covered, but they were due to poor management over the long term. In this video, the two situations we'll cover can occur more rapidly. If you or a loved one has diabetes, recognizing the signs and symptoms of these situations and acting quickly by getting to a hospital may save their life. The first is called diabetic ketoacidosis, or DKA, and the other is hyperglycemic hyperosmolar non-ketotic syndrome. I remember it as H-honk. Let's learn about why these are both life-threatening. DKA is possible in type 1 and type 2 diabetes, but it's much more common in type 1. If you recall from the first video, the problem with type 1 diabetes is that the pancreas does not produce insulin, so the cells cannot recognize and use the glucose in the blood, so the body thinks it's starving. To try and fix this, the liver starts to break down fat and protein for energy. So DKA can occur if you don't take enough of your insulin. The fat is turned into something called a ketone, which is acidic, so that gives us the ketoacidosis part of the name. Glucose in the urine will take water with it, which causes dehydration and thirst. But ketones cause us to vomit, which contributes to dehydration. And without getting too deep into it, the acidic nature of ketones makes us hyperventilate or breathe very quickly. Eventually, the dehydration and hyperventilation can lead to confusion, drowsiness, coma, and death. So watch out for those symptoms like thirst, urinating a lot, nausea, vomiting, hyperventilation, and confusion, then get that person to a hospital immediately. An additional unique symptom that can help identify if someone with type 1 diabetes is producing ketones is that their breath smells sweet and fruity. The other emergency, hyperglycemic hyperosmolar non-ketotic syndrome, is more common in type 2 diabetes, and within that group, more common in the elderly population. This is because it relates to not drinking enough water, which might occur if you have mobility issues that prevent easy access to water. If you recall from the previous video, hypoglycemia means low glucose in the blood. This situation is the opposite, where there is too much glucose in the blood, so it is hyperglycemia or hyperglycemic. The hyperosmolar part of the name also relates to the large amount of glucose in the blood. Like DKA, the glucose in the blood is being released in urine, and it takes water with it. But in this situation, there is no replacement of the water, so the person becomes severely dehydrated. Since the pancreas still makes some insulin, the liver knows not to make ketones. This is where we get the non-ketotic portion of the name. The symptoms are the same as DKA, including thirst, dehydration, confusion, coma, and death. But since there are no ketones, the person does not hyperventilate, nor does their breath smell sweet or fruity. Remember, they still need to go to the hospital immediately to be treated. And with that, we're at the end of the diabetes video series. There is always more to learn within these topics though, so if you found this series interesting, I encourage you to check out the resources below and to do further research. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed the video, learned something new, have any questions, have a personal experience in this area that you'd like to share, or have ideas for a future video. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time for another delicious bite of medicine.